Hey guys, it's Born Knight here, and welcome to another recording. Today we are going to be playing some Battle Block Theater, and I have a friend with me. His name is Trevor. And so, so um, ready to get started? Yes. Yeah, so you want, you want to be orange, right? Yes, orange. Oh, shoot. What just happened? Oh, that's the power. Yay, it's back. <laughs> okay. Uh, ready? Yeah. Let's do this. Oh. Dance say one. Good evening, boys and girls, ladies, mm. and gentlemen. Turn the lights down low and shut your faces as I wrap you in the cozy blanket of a story. A story as heartwarming and soft as a mother's kiss. Or is it? Or is it? Once upon a time, there was a boat. Now, this wasn't just any boat, children. It was a ship. A ship full of friends. Hundreds of friends. Best friends, one and all. A veritable friendship it was. Get it? But it wouldn't be very ladylike of me if I didn't mention the most noteworthy friend on board. Hattie, Hattie Hattington. Hattington. Say hi to Hattie. Hattie was like a king friend of Friendship Kingdom, best friend to one and all, and the walking definition of handsome gentlemen. Now one fine morning, Hattie and Pal set out for a new, exciting adventure. What fantastic wonders would they discover this time? Perhaps they'd come across a scary ghost ship. Perhaps they'd find an island made entirely of candy. Perhaps they'd meet a band of scary, swashbuckling pirates and join forces to find an island made entirely of candy. Who knew? But it didn't matter. So long as they were together, there were smiles to be had and adventures to be shared. Now today it was a day like any other adventure day. Spirits were uncrushably high, everyone was singing and dancing and having a jolly time. When suddenly the ocean was all like surprise and a huge, massive storm flowed out of nowhere. Boy, that was quick. And there was thunder. Boom! And the lightning. Boom! And the wind. Boom! And like that, it was over. Is everyone okay? said Hattie. I don't know what I'd do if I lost even one of you, Hattie continued. But the eye of the storm is very misleading, children. Never turn your back on it because the ocean was all like psych, and it came back even bigger this time, twice as big. Would you show you as if Poseidon himself extended his hand in friendship and they spat in his mouth? Boy, he was pissed, he was mad. Then the rain came down like a shower of bullets ah, ah! and the floorboards were buckling and creaking and breaking and pieces of their ship were raining down like shards of broken dreams and then Reginald comes upstairs and he's all like I say gentlemen I do believe we're in quite a spot of bother and everyone else was like really what tipped you off genius and then Hattie was all like hey be nice whoosh, 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 whoosh. Hey, Those yeah. giant waves <laughs> thrash the boat to and fro fro and to carelessly sprinkling friend after friend into the cold unforgiving abyss of the deep dark ocean everyone was screaming like help me splash splash and there was this huge whale like Wah! made it super scary and i think there was a shark yep there he is oh god and then hattie was all like hold on to your butts land ho and bang 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 smash a shipwreck as foretold by their fate Ooh, books of fate. Yeah, and while it seems like the end, this is merely the beginning of another fantastic journey for the brave crew of the SS yes. Friendship. <laughs> I 
I'm just gonna sleep. Hi, you're leaning over my shoulder and I'm uncomfortable. Wait, are you recording? Yeah, I'm recording. Oh. Oh, happy uh, day. He's happy. Hey, look, he's made some wonderful new friends. Ooh, they got him a present. They got him a present. Hey, wait a second. I don't think that was a present. Yeah. Well, those guys aren't wonderful new friends, are they? Just stay hidden and keep quiet. They haven't seen you yet. Oh, no. This is a This is a This is a Wait, can we are there four can we halo jump it? What? Jump on top of me. Jump, jump. We can halo jump it. Oh, we're going better than that last week. Wait, so the guy is just, he just narrates it random. What you're doing It's narrate. a theater. Narrate. You're leaning out on me and I'm oh, I think I've seen this game before. Actually, this is almost just like Little Big Fun. Right, trigger. Oh! Oh! Hold on, hold on, up here. No! Wait! Hold on, hold on. Oh. Okay. Ready? Maybe you. Hold on, you're supposed to help me! You're supposed to help me! There we go. I keep trying to press Why? You're supposed to throw them up. You can. Kind of far. Hold on, I'll go. Hold on, hold on, hold on! Do those things hurt you? Those? No. They just make you jump. And oh, yeah. so, the water hurts you? You can't swim. Oh. So you can jump, but you can't swim. Right. Yes. That is the logic. The logic of games. Hey, the exit's open. Go in. I'm on the exit. But he's not standing on the exit, he's kneeling on the exit. <laughs> okay, I think we can get through one more stage and then we'll end the first episode. Okay, enough. Enough. I've seen that face before, the crying face. Hattie Huffington. Um, here, I have an idea. Ready. Oh, oh, oh. look. Oh. <laughs> I don't think that was right, Trevor. You, you don't have to do it over there. I have it over there. You throw him. Oh. Ah! Travis, you're stupid. So what if I am? How do we get that gem up above, though? I don't know, I didn't know. I didn't put any that. Well, I was trying to. Oh wait, except we need to go over to this one over here. Just, wait, you can just go in. Nothing. No. But I need you.
Actually, I need I need you. I need you. Dan. Yep, you get it. And then up here to this one. Isn't your brother's profile picture this? Yes. We missed one, but whatever. Yeah, okay, so, um, thanks guys so much for watching, uh, this is the end of the first episode, but we're going to continue recording, so, I'll see you in a little bit, bye-bye!